This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from opentuition.com. So let's just go through and finish the chapter off with a little bit of housekeeping again. Uh, again, a, a non-computational aspect of the syllabus, so maybe just a, a small part of section C uh, as a written bit for three or four marks, or maybe a multiple choice question effectively within section A or section B. Okay, Because effectively what we know is that we have an associate, don't we? Uh, if we own somewhere between 20 and 50%, isn't it? Okay. Uh, so what happens, let's just say, uh, I don't know, let's, you know, somewhere close to the, the 20%, let's just say, what happens there if we own, say, 19%? If we own 19%, then technically, based upon this, it, it's not an associate, is it? Because we don't own between 20 and 50%. So if that's the case, we would just go through there and treat it as a financial asset. Uh, financial asset by default will be their fair value through profit or loss unless there is strategic intent to hold it, in which case it's fair value through other comprehensive income. Okay, But you just need to go through there and note these other situations where significant influence exists. Uh, so learn them. I don't think you need to learn them all. It will be ideal and much more beneficial when you get to strategic business reporting. Uh, but I think the two main ones that, that, that you're likely to see at this level, and that's not the examiner talking, that's just me, uh, I think is representation on the board. Oh, so you've got 19%. Imagine you've got two of the five directors or, or one of the four directors. Would that give you influence? Significant influence? Two of the five, that's 40. Okay, 40% 40 of the the say, one out of four, so that's 25%. Now, is that going to give you influence? I thought it would, wouldn't it? So because you've got representation on the board, and, and then the volume of, of representation that you have on the board allows you to give significant influence. In effect, that it helps you uh, participate in that policy-making progress, or process, I should say. It allows you to go through there and put forward your suggestions. If you had no representation on the board, the 19% would be a financial asset, wouldn't it? But if there's representation on the board, then we'd have an associate. Uh, similarly as well, you know, if the transactions between the two entities, fine. But if they are material, and that means there's a large number, a large volume of transactions that are happening between the parent and the associate. So that is an associated company that we have significant influence over because we're exerting our influence to ensure that those material transactions, those material sales, that material level of sales go through there and take place. So if that's the case, what would happen there is that that 19% could actually go through there. And we would use your equity accounting, provided that we had representation on the board or there were material transactions taking place. Okay. Uh, the other bits, interchange of managerial personnel. So that's just swapping your managements. Again, if you're putting your managers in place uh, because that's been requested uh, by the associate, then again, you're going to have significant influence because you're making managerial decisions. And if you're giving technical information, that technical knowledge that you are transferring, it's going to influence how that business operates, isn't it? So again, that will go through there and allow you to show that you have significant influence. Okay. I suppose it, it, it could also be linked, couldn't it, to a question in audit. Uh, but I, I don't want to get too, too carried away with audit. Uh, because 19%, they may be treating it as a financial asset, fair value through profit or loss. The audit risk there is that they have actually got influence. They've not shown that influence to you. Uh, and they're trying to hide that really it should be 
and investment and associate. Okay, so you would need to investigate whether the representation on the board, uh, there's any material transactions, and then uh, the participation, the policy making process, the interchange of managerial personnel, and that technical information. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, hopefully it does. I don't think you're going to get a question uh, whereby you'd have 17, 18, 19 percent. Any associated questions would be between 20 and 50 percent or just under that 50 percent so that you have influence. If it were in real life that you had 19 percent and that gave you influence, you would equity account using that 19 percent. OK, there you have it. That's the housekeeping done and dusting.